Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today we are demonstrating how to install an NVMe solid state drive and upgrade the RAM in a Lenovo ThinkPad T470S. Now, if you do plan on servicing the laptop um, while we're opening it up, one thing that you can do is disable the internal battery and BIOS. And we have to do this because we cannot remove the battery without removing the back cover. So we'll turn on the laptop and we'll hit enter. Once you see the Lenovo splash screen, once you see this menu, we can hit F1 to enter BIOS. And now once you're into BIOS, you can navigate over to config, down to power, and down to disable built-in battery. And system will be powered down. If you select yes, do you want to proceed? Yes. So let's flip this thing over. And what you need to remove the screws is a Phillips head screwdriver. And there's one, two, three, four, five screws, plus this one little keyboard lock right here that I suppose we'll put in the unlock position. And we'll see what happens. All right, let's get started. Okay, now we want to take something like a plastic guitar pick or the similar styled uh, plastic device from an iFixit kit. We'll just want to score along the bottom of the palm rest here to release the back panel. All right, so inside the laptop, we have one three cell battery, two three cell batteries, which is pretty cool. And over here is the heat pipe leading to the exhaust fan. We'll take that off and put on new thermal paste after cleaning it. Over here is the one existing RAM slot and there's four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM soldered onto the motherboard. So what we have here is a single stick of eight gigabytes uh, DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM by Silicon Power. And over here is where we'll install the NVMe SSD. And for that, we have a 240 gigabyte Patriot P310 NVMe M.2 solid state drive. To remove the batteries, you will get that Phillips head screwdriver again. And we'll take out one, two, three screws on this battery and it'll disconnect from the motherboard right here. I believe we just have to lift up, but let's find out. Over on the top battery, we just have one screw here and one screw here. And it looks like the similar style. We do have to lift up. All right, and you'll notice that we need one screw here. We're missing a screw. Um, I do have a bunch of PCIe uh, NVMe screws rather. If you don't, there's a screw here on the M.2 slot and maybe we can use that. Let's give it a shot. All right, perfect. It's a good fit. So if you're missing it, just bore it from over here unless you have something else installed. Now let's release these four screws and lift up the heat pipe and we'll get some new paste on. And while we're at it, uh, I'll grab a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol, and we'll give the fan a little bit of a wipe down. All right, now we're ready to install the RAM. So simple as that, in under 20 minutes, you can also surface your laptop, install the SSD and the RAM. So let's go ahead and put those batteries back in and fasten the case back together. And we'll go ahead and install Windows 10 Pro. All right, here we have Windows 10 installed and running well. Uh, one thing about the T470S is that it has this nice 1920 by 1080p display panel and that's awesome. It's actually a very similar experience to my T480 that I use on a daily basis. Anyway, hopefully this video helped you out. And well, thanks a lot for watching. 
and I hope you have a great day.